For those of you that don't know, my mother, my grandparents, they're overweight, obese, struggle with diabetes, high cholesterol, one has had a stroke, and this is something I speak to them about all the time. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Talk DXB. My name is Riley, AKA the most hated. Um, I'm a sports conditioning specialist, um, and today I'm gonna read over a couple of comments that were on the video about fat shaming and body positivity. If you haven't seen the video yet, click up here. So, the first comment I wanna talk on um, was basically to sum it up is saying that we should have people who are currently overweight and fat and obese to speak on this topic. Um, we've had a lot of people say this and I really wanna speak about this because it makes no sense to me. Firstly, I feel I have every right to discuss this topic. Reason being is because I'm in this industry. My job is to prevent um, health disease, you know, and I love saying um, prevention is better than cure. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And also it just doesn't make sense. Firstly, um, a lot of people attack Nadine and she's coming from a place of experience. Um, so she's been through it, she's experienced it, so she has every right to speak on this topic. And she was defending you, so take a step back. Secondly, if someone is educated enough to speak on this topic, I feel they have every right to speak on it. The same way a neurologist can speak on a brain tumor, the same way a pregnant woman can speak on pregnancy, or someone who knows about pregnancy. You know, if you're educated on the topic, you have every right to speak on it. I don't need to be overweight to speak. And for those of you that don't know, my mother, my grandparents, they are overweight, obese, struggle with diabetes, high cholesterol, one has had a stroke, and this is something I speak to them about all the time. So yeah, I am speaking from a point of experience and from a point of education and knowledge. Speaking of education and knowledge, I'd like to go through to a comment. The last comment saying this guy Riley needs to do more research before he speaks publicly or general on this topic. He is wrong. That pause was for dramatic effect. I am not wrong. Um, a point that you pointed out was that people are big boned. So let me just clarify that you do have different frames or structures of a skeleton, large, medium, small. However, it has no effect on your weight. It does not make you obese, overweight, underweight, depending on your bone size. There is a uh, calculation to determine which category you fit into, but it doesn't affect your weight. Um, and that is not the reason you're overweight. So using that excuse of I am big bone is kind of invalid. Um, the only bone that changes or affects your weight or is affected by your weight is your femur, which is your thigh bone. And that changes because it has to carry more weight and people who are overweight and obese generally walk different. Men shouldn't have opinion on women's bodies, period. So, this was not about women. I can 100% understand why women are more touched simply because of society standards and pressure from society. Um, if you look at the body positivity movement, there's so many publications which are all about women. Um, and yeah, the women are more affected just because of the pressure society puts on them. The definition of beautiful is blurred and you know, there's so many things we can touch on regards to that. We are not speaking only on women, we're speaking about men and women. Um, and we are speaking about people who are underweight as well and malnutrition, just to clear that up. But because the topic was fat shaming and not skinny shaming, we spoke on people who were overweight. This one's funny. LOL, it seems like conscious is the only word these two crackheads know. I've never tried crack in my life, to, just to clear that up. Um, the reason I've used conscious so much is because that is the basis of what I'm trying to say. Let me just clear this up for a lot of people, okay? 
If we go down to the base of what fat is, it's an energy source. Plain and simple, it's an energy source. Okay? Remove society standards of beauty and physical appearance. Remove any underlying um, problems such as um, mental issues or um, physical issues or medical issues that one might have. If you are overweight and if you are obese, you are at higher risk for many diseases, okay? Just a quick fact, you know, that my uneducated self is about to drop. Uh, on average, 3 million people die from obesity, okay? The world's leading causes of death are all linked to being overweight, okay? It might not be the main cause or the main factor, but it is linked to it. And a way to change it or to prevent it or reduce the risk is exercise, lifestyle, all of that, okay? So just to clear up, it was not about physical appearance. It was not about if you're fat, you're not beautiful. None of that, okay? It was about if you're fat, if you're overweight, you're at high risk of certain diseases, okay? The same goes for those that are malnutrition and are underweight. Okay, it's, it's, it's basic, okay? There's a, there's a line, you're either on this side of the spectrum or you're yeah, this side. You know, you, yeah, it's pretty fucking basic. I want to give a shout out to, what's her name? Remy, Remy, oh, oh there, oh there. Remy, she was one of the only people that responded with an educated response. I just want to say I respect you for your educated response. Um, and she gave she <laughs> the one thing I wanted to touch on saying science has proved that your genes are part of it fair enough okay there is a gene that um, means you will store higher fat you can be passed on however the reason my crackhead self used the word conscious so much was because if you possess this gene, you are obliged or you have the responsibility knowing that you have this gene, knowing that I'm going to use runs in your family, you are more obligated to take high responsibility for your actions. Um, something my friend said to me in the fitness industry is it does not control what's in your mouth and it doesn't control your choices. A lot of people are born a certain way, but it doesn't stop them disabilities, all of that, there's, there's many ways to overcome it and that's where I say conscious effort. Okay, then I have five minutes, man. I didn't even get to my DMs. Okay, I'm gonna move on from the comments. I'm gonna go to the DMs because I got like five minutes left. I'm not a disgusting pig. Okay, I'm not a fat shamer. I'm not for fat shaming. Okay, I will discuss and address the body positivity message um, when we go on to part two, which you should really check out to get more uh, context. Um, shout out to my body positive women, all for yet. Um, but no, I'm not a fat, disgusting pig. I'm not ignorant. Um, a lot of you are though. A lot of you that did call me ignorant, coming at me when you don't understand or, or lack knowledge on the topic is pretty much ignorant. So yeah, check yourself. Okay guys, thank you for listening to everything we have to say. Um, we're gonna have a couple of giveaways. All you need to do is comment um, that you're interested, tag three friends. Oh, and if, you, if you're not following the Talk DXB already, follow us now. Um, what we're gonna give away is a couple of training sessions and a one-on-one -on -one with me. For those of you that have agreed and disagreed, I'm still willing to help and still willing to help you move forward. So if it's something that you're interested in doing, comment, tag, follow, yeah? So it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool. You know, like, follow, comment, and we will give you what we need to give you. I shouldn't have said that, that's disrespectful, that's disgusting, I don't know. That was bad. We have to give you what we like to give you. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Bro? I feel like I had so much pressure on me then, man. We will give you what we like to give you. What the fuck is that?